the best budget loadout in Escape from Tarkov. It is so easy. Grab a level 4 armor and you don't need armor. Buy a Weapon Hunter, buy some M61 routes from the flea, and this is the perfect loadout, right? Wrong. What is the best budget loadout in Escape from Tarkov from level 10 to 20? That's the topic of today's video. Let's start. Dear comrades, Ivan the German is back for you guys and today we are talking about the best budget loadout from level 10 to level 20. It is very surprising how much choices you have from level 10 to 20. So grab a drink or two and let's start with the video. I want to start with Ragman because you don't have that much choices in terms of your gear. Let's start with your armor and in my opinion the only one very good opportunity for you if you have Ragman level 2 is the 6B 3TM. One of my most favorite rigs in Tarkov and they added a barter that you can trade in 4 of them for one brand new 6B 3TM. You will get a lot of back from your insurance and that's why this rig is very good. Of course if you have the barter for the 6B515, but guys, don't buy this rig. Maybe if you have the barter items to get this rig, you can do it because it's still a level 4 armor, but your space is a little bit limited, so I wouldn't go with the Ule rig, go with the 6B3TM. And for your backpacks, as you can see, you have some good barters, but you also could buy the Barracoot or you can buy the LBT from the flea, which will cost you 15 to 20k, which is okay, in my opinion to have a medium-sized backpack. Let's talk about your helm real quick. I don't like this dicky helm. In my opinion, it's way too bright in terms of the greenish color. This green is very, very bright and your stats are very bad. Look at that. Minus 13 ergo, minus eight turning speed and minus two movement speed. Also, you only have the top and the nape cover. I don't like this helmet. What you can do is pay the 10k extra or do the barter for two bleach and then you can buy the Ratnik helmet, which is in my opinion way better. Look at that. The stats are great for this level three helm and you have also a ear protection. In my opinion, the best option if you are playing a helm in this price range or let's say during this level. But what you should afford all the time is wearing an active headset. And in my opinion, the GSSH is one of the best headsets in the game right now because they are not bugged, they are very cheap and in my opinion the sound is okay. Otherwise you could try the Comtec or the Zordans or they don't enhance the sound correctly. So in my opinion the GSSH is a very good option and you can buy it from Ragman level 1. Try to cover your face all the time, you can do it with the cold free balaclava or with this standard balaclava but this one from Ragman level 1 is a little bit too bright in my opinion in terms of this grayish color and you can also combine it with some baseball caps. Of course you can do some runs with the pucker vest or other stuff level 2 or 3 armors and you can drop them after you killed a scaf or a player and you can loot but my overall recommendation is the 6B 3TM. Let's continue with the weapons and we have a wide range of which weapons you could use. Let's start with the SKS. The SKS is a barter from mechanic level 2 and this barter is not that bad in my opinion because Battlestate Games gifted you some 762 BP ammunition and you could combine it with this barter from mechanic level 2 as I said, one GP coin and one screwdriver. It is around 45k so this is not that bad in my opinion and you can put an additional grip on it a side on it, of course some muzzle devices and, and of course you can change the stock, you can change the grip, but it is a good and solid base in my opinion. One of the most underrated weapons in Escape from Tarkov right now and I don't know why. This thing is brutal. You can add a suppressor, you can add an integrated suppressor, grip, you can change the stock and all of that stuff. In my opinion the MPX, especially the SD version, which you will get later on is great. This thing is so powerful and I made a video about it, you should definitely check that out. So let me be clear with the RFB, I don't have the Vapor in my list. Why? Because I do not like the Vapor. In my opinion, the RFB is a better version of a Vapor Hunter. The Vapor Hunter is very expensive, you have to pay 50k for it. The 10 round mechs are very expensive and you are limited with your modifications. And with the RFB, in my opinion, you have the overall better weapon. You can buy it from Peacekeeper level 2 for 480 bucks, but buy it from the flea market, it is way cheaper. And the thing is, you can add a grip on it. You can add a side on it, you can add a suppressor on it, which is very good. The suppressor is very insane and not that expensive. The suppressor is around 30 to 35k. You have a barter for a raven to get the suppressor also. And you can change the suppressor to some other muzzle devices if you can't afford or if you don't want to play this suppressor. So in my opinion, as I said, the RFB 
is the better Vapor Hunter. I don't like the Vapor Hunter, in my opinion, it has too much recoil. You are limited in terms of your semi-automatic firing options. And in my opinion, there isn't a right way to play Tarkov. Play Tarkov like you want. But the idea behind my videos is that you can learn and play Tarkov right from the scratch in a certain way, which you can adapt later on. You only have to change your weapons and your gear, or you have a little bit more experience, but your certain playstyle is the same. So with these weapons right here you can play very aggressively, you have a lot of opportunities and you can play also a little bit more passive. The thing is with the RFB you can also play some M61 ammunition or M80, you can also put that into the RFB, you can do almost the same thing compared to the Vapor Hunter. We also did a lot of videos with the MP5, one of the best SMGs especially early or mid wipe. This thing is brutal, very accurate, high fire rate, low recoil, this thing is perfect. You watch the other videos in terms of budget builds or especially the top three MP5 builds. Let's continue with the PP19. The PP19, also covered by one of our videos, is also a great option. It has a little bit less fire rate, but you can control it very well. You don't have to modify it that much. So the PP19 is also a very great SMG. Let's continue with the AK-103. Same thing like the SKS. Battleset Games gifted you some 7.62 BP ammunition. You should use it either with the SKS or with the AK-103. You can modify it a bit to decrease the recoil and increase the ergo, of course, but consider using it. It is not my number one recommendation, but I just wanted to show you that there is an option using some AKs in a budget build. And I really have to admit that I didn't know that we have a KS-23 barter from Prepper level 2. So you can actually play the KS-23 with a Prepper level 2 and you don't need that much. It's like very easy to get items, especially if you're doing my interchange loot run or some other loot runs. You can loot these items very easily. So consider playing the KS-23. It's a very overpowered gun. Go for some leg meta shots or with some star ammunition and blind your enemies. The KS-23 is so broke and it's sometimes very funny to use, so, so why not using it? So some bonus tips right now, you can have Peacekeeper level 3 with level 18 and that means you can play the MP7 and the P90. These SMGs are very good, especially you can buy SS190 and FMJ SX from Peacekeeper level 3 also, that means you have some very good ammunition and you don't need that much. With, especially with the MP7 you only need a side max of course and let's go. With the P90 you need a couple more max which makes it a little bit annoying because you have a very high load and unload timer, which is nonsense in my opinion, but go with the MP7. You can buy it from the flea market if you want, and I would really recommend doing that. Buy the MP7A1. In my opinion, the MP7A2 is not worth buying it because you have really good stats with this stock MP7 and a suppressor on it. And finally, I put the MP9 also on this list because you should consider playing the MP9. It has a really high fire rate and I do not know why, but I'm one tabbing a lot, but it's funny to use. But just be aware guys that the 30 round mags can be a little bit more expensive sometimes and 20 round mags with the MP9 are not that worth at all. And guys, hold on for a sec. I almost forgot one of the best budget weapons in Tarkov right now. It is the Val. Because even with the SP5 ammunition, your well is very powerful. You may have only 20 round max, but you can drop down your enemies quite quick, especially scavs or level 4 armor. The SP5 is very good. You should try and val with SP5. So in the end, we have our medical supplies. You can buy some Salewas, Smarge and Painkillers from Therapist level 1 and 2. This should be your basic medic stuff. So and everything on top of that is some Gucci stuff like buying some CMS or surf kits from the flea. But this should be, as I said, your basic med stuff. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. If you have any tips, write it in the comments below. And don't forget we have a Discord. You are highly welcome to join us there. And in the end, guys, show us your support and like this video to show the world that we Germans can win least something. And if it's your like, I would really appreciate it. See you in the next video, guys. Bye.